First, though, we want to go live to Decatur, Tennessee, which was closest to the epicenter of those quakes. Our Jake Chapman begins our team coverage. And Jake, any damage in that part of the county? Well, David, we took a look at the epicenter on foot and by air today. Now, some people closest to where the earthquake sits say they didn't feel a thing and slept through the entire earthquake. Now, others tell us that they see cracks in their homes that were not there before that earthquake hit. But I was asleep and it shook the whole bed and vibrated across the floor. And it woke me up. And I said, what was that? She said it was an earthquake. And it just shook me plumb out of the bed. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever experienced anything No, before? I hadn't. Decatur residents are still talking about the wake-up call they received early Monday morning. The National Weather Service says this morning's 4.4 earthquake is the second largest quake in East Tennessee history. The largest dates back to 1973 when a 4.7 earthquake hit Maryville, just 60 miles northeast of Decatur. Kathy Stone lives two miles from the epicenter. She says the earthquake caused a few cracks in her front porch. Well, it cracked the porch. My porch is made of wood, yeah. you know, and it cracked it and everything else. Jeff Weeks lives a mile from the epicenter and says the earthquake caused damage to his home, too. Weeks and his wife moved here over a year ago from Florida. He's lived through hurricanes, not earthquakes. This was a first for this small town and many of the people living here. But are you happy that you and your wife are okay? Though? Yes, and my dogs, because those are my kids. <laughs> Now, first responders indicate to receive 19 calls from people regarding the earthquakes, but none of those calls include a report of damage. Weeks and Stone tell me they plan to have experts come to look at their homes to determine if what they see was caused by these earthquakes. For now, I'm reporting live indicator Jake Chapman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.